Hello everybody, this is my Shadow of Mordor review. Today I will be reviewing Shadow of Mordor. To say this right off the bat, do not get this game for Xbox 360 or PS3. Because I made the mistake of buying the game and terrible and extremely terrible. It takes about like 10 seconds to half a minute just to leave the pause button sometimes. So I am loading my story mode right now, I am a little bit into the story. So far I had a great time playing. As you see it takes a while to load. So right now I'm going to demonstrate how long it takes to leave the pause menu. That was actually like one of the fastest times ever but it's taken way longer than that. I've upgraded my character traits, like you can, as you see, I can blow up things with my arrows. You can jump off of any height without dying, that's a really cool thing. There are things, there's, you have powers and I'm draining, um, a Uruk right now. They're not like ogres or that kind of stuff anymore, now they're called Uruks. Right now I am teleporting. As you see, that was a kill move when they are down. And when you level up really high, you can even decapitate Urix. So as you see, I have run out of elf arrows. And the combat is very fluid. In the background, there's a character that is about to kill me. That is the Wraith Stun, and I'm about to do the Wraith Flash. So you see the, the combat's very fluid. There isn't a difficulty setting or anything like that, but as you see the glowing thing right there was showing where I've been last seen, because the Kyrgyz didn't see me. But right now I'm being chased by Kyrgyz. Like Assassin's Creed series, there are different areas and regions of land that will tell you what you have done in that area, like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So this is a rape site, I believe it is, and you can see through walls and see enemies and basically see how they see you so far. Um, that was something I recently unlocked and with that you can sneak up on someone and drain power from them like I did earlier but with his stuff. And I'm doing, um, I actually forgot it's called I'm teleporting kind of. You can only do that to other enemies. So as you see the combat's really fluid. I just love the way the game is, but the graphics sometimes are very terrible. So, um, I think I would give this game about a 6 or 7 on PS3 and Xbox 360, but if I had it on the PS4, I'd probably give it a 9. So I do recommend this game, but not on last gen. Do not get it on last gen. As you see, there is a green Uruk right there. He can give you information on war chiefs. Um, there's like a hierarchy, which you are about to see, of captains, elite captains, veteran captains, and then war chiefs. If you kill them, other Uruks will go up or all that kind of stuff. But if they kill you, I know one time I cleared out the whole captain area and I was so happy, but then one, he glitched and he was floating in the air because I did a, a stun on him, so it made him float on the air. And I couldn't shoot him and every time I stood up, he kept on throwing arrows at me, like spears. And it really wasn't fun at all and then he killed me and then all the captain spots filled right back up and it made me really mad so 
the hierarchy is a really great thing to put into a game. That's what makes it never ending. The game will never end if you just keep on playing. It will never end. So you see right there, it's decapitating orcs heads is like a thing of the story. It's like, it's just the special kind of thing. Sometimes the game will automatically do it, but if you press circle and triangle for PS3, it does it. Um, I don't know the Xbox controls. Um, as you see in a second here, and yes, I am narrating over this video, I, I pre-recorded it. But if you look in front of me down, those are a bunch of haze, but the it's not even, like, the resolution is totally gone. One time I got on Karakor and I went forever, and it was just terrible, but I have to give this game a 6 or 7 for last gen, and for pre for gen next to gen, I would say a 9. This game, I recommend it, it's really fun, just awesome, and you guys have to get it. So, I hope you guys liked the video. I haven't done a review in a while, but I will be doing some pretty soon, hopefully. You guys follow me on Tumblr, and that's where I do most of my updates, and I hope you all have a great day. And thank you to all my